Welcome to part two of trying out Deadly Linux commands. Now, the first time I tried this, I just did some simple Google searches and all the commands I tried had safeguards built into all of them, so it was a complete failure. This time around, I used a lot of suggestions from Al Kazmaier, as well as a couple of my own ideas, and it's been a lot more successful. We have a lot of trashed virtual machines here. Most of the virtual machines I used were Ubuntu 15.10 server, but I also used Ubuntu 16.04 desktop and Fedora. Firstly, I'm going to try the sudo rm-rf command against root. Now that will delete all files. The first time I tried this, it comes up with the message that you must add the parameter no preserve root to it. However, putting an asterisk at the end allows the command to run without any error messages. So we're getting error messages on the actual machine now. Uh, numlock is on, yeah, okay. We're stuck, I can't even log back in. So that machine is written off now, I'd say. Now to mess with file permissions. So we're going to do sudo chmod 000 forward slash dash r. So set permission of not writable, not readable, and not executable across the root and recursively. It shouldn't be able to do anything. Oops, there we go. So let's go mental there with the errors. Operation not permitted. Uh, so that may have not have worked. Oh no, proc, that's kernel memory, so... <laughs> Permission tonight. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can we do? Ah, control delete worked. Forcibly power it off then. Uh, let's reboot it. Oh, it's going. Uh, no, it hasn't. Okay, well, that system's killed. On the same theme of changing your permissions, now I'm going to do sudo chmod 2775. So that will retain the executable ability of files, but it severely weakens the system. Now, any user can execute a file that they normally wouldn't be able to access, so... For example, I can easily read the shadow file, whereas if I try it on a normal system, you can see that permission is denied. Well, that system still works, so it's not quite as dangerous as the previous command, but it totally undermined the security of the Linux system. It would be nice if the sudo as file was written in English, and that is what I'm going to try and do here. <laughs> no, I'm not. Echo-en is echo nothing, and then I'm piping it into T, which will write that line of nothing into the slash etc slash sudo as file, which will wipe it out. So I can no longer elevate my privileges up to sudo. So recovery is going to be difficult, although not impossible. Now for some fun with the memory. So this first command is just going to exhaust all the memory on the system, but it's only a temporary command. So if I run it, we'll soon see that uh, memory usage saps right up to 100%. Now the system isn't particularly usable now at this point, but all you need to do is control C and memory usage comes straight back down. Nice, to 160 meg, so it was doing a bit of self-recovery there, just to try and keep the system alive. But bet you wouldn't have thought you'd see a full-blown Ubuntu system with uh, 160 meg RAM used. It's taking a little while to recover now, but yeah, okay, there we go. Firefox opens. Now this next command should have some more interesting effects, but I'm actually I'm a bit surprised at what happens here, because it actually does nothing. So what should have happened is that we write a bunch of random numbers into the memory. But Ubuntu 16.04 actually manages to repel it. Yeah. What I did notice glitched the system was if I wrote dev null into memory, so that will just zero out all the memory. It did kind of mess up the cursor on terminals, so if I start typing there, just a bunch of gibberish and undo it. Not quite like it should be. There's barely noticeable difference though. Now the same command in a Fedora system actually kills it. Oh, it's actually killed this whole virtual box this time. <laughs> Didn't happen like that before, but okay. And finally, if I try this DD command against an Ubuntu 15.10 server system, you'll find it just needs a reboot. It's not as spectacular as the Fedora system, so Ubuntu managed to repel that command somehow. Well, that shows that not all Linux systems behave the same way. 
Another go with the DD command, this time I'm targeting the hard drive slash dev slash SDA, so that'd be where the operating system is. So I'd be writing zero to the hard drive. Let's see what happens. Apparently nothing, but uh, this is what DD commands like. You do have to leave it a while. If you'd press Control C at this point, you'd probably limit the damage. Oh, now we have a kernel panic. Can I reboot it? Can I do anything? Uh, no, I won't be able to, will I? Let's just forcibly power it off. And when I try and reboot it, uh, no bootable file system. <laughs> and that's the end of that operating system. Now, the final command I want to try is formatting a mounted drive. So that's sudo mkfs.ext4, so make a file system with extension for formatting, slash dev slash sda1, first hard drive, first partition. Normally, we have the operating system. So yes, I would like to proceed. But it will not work against a file system that is mounted. Now, even if you try and force it with dash f, no, nope, still doesn't want to work. So let's try it again with two dash f's. Nope, still don't want to work. I just thought I'd quickly try it in Fedora as well. No, it doesn't work.